What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Crypto Lifestyle channel. This is Ryan with AI on Crypto coming at you again from behind the mic. And guys, it's an honor to be able to make you a video during these tumultuous times in the market because it's during times like these where you're really proud to be part of the BHB crew. You never need the hashtag BHB rallying cry like when the markets are down the way they have been over the last couple of days. And it's also a reminder that we really need to be in projects that we truly believe in because when the price is dumping, it really tests your confidence and you have to have real reasons for liking and owning the coins you have. And that's why I'm so proud to contribute on this channel. A lot of you guys might not know this, but I've actually been a member of this community for almost two years. Long before I started making videos for Francis, I was watching videos by Francis and I was just like any of you guys typing hashtag BHB in the comment section and banking that coin. So I want to assure you all that the coins that we cover here on the Crypto Lifestyle channel are coins that we truly believe in. We aren't marketers here doing the bidding of the paying projects. We talk about projects that we believe in, that Francis believes in. And speaking of projects that we all believe in, today we're going to make another video about Duck Dow. The Mighty Ducks have been weathering this storm just like every other project, but they are moving forward and we're going to dive into them right now. Woo <laughs> Crypto Lifestyle, baby. If you're new here, this is the Crypto Lifestyle channel. We talk about Bitcoin mass adoption, decentralization, and other crypto related things that can bank us coin. We pump out cryptocurrency related videos each and every day, uncovering those low cap gems before they're common knowledge to the public. So if that's the kind of stuff you're looking for here on YouTube, then tap subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss a single one of our time sensitive videos. And of course, the opinions that we express today are for information and entertainment purposes only. We are not professional financial advisors and cryptocurrency is very risky. So do your own research, take your own risk, consult a professional if you need to. All right, so let's take a look at the latest developments of the preeminent launch pad in all of cryptocurrency, DuckDAO. So DuckDAO is a project that we cover pretty regularly here on the Crypto Lifestyle channel because here we're all about pre-sales. Cryptocurrency is decentralizing the venture capitalist process, giving incredible early stage investment opportunities in the hands of regular everyday people like you and me. And the Ducks created this concept of project incubation. So basically, they have a lot of connections in the cryptocurrency world, and they've gone out there and initially they met all of the projects and they started to get a feel of, you know, who was legit in the space, what projects are up and coming, and they really developed a science and an art at picking awesome projects. And they created this awesome idea called <clears throat> called Project Incubation. And what they've done, they have cultivated a community of enthusiastic cryptocurrency investors that truly believe in their vision and have faith in the projects that they pick. So what they do is they've created an environment where projects now come to them. People with legitimate cryptocurrency projects will come to DuckDAO in hopes that the Ducks may incubate them. Because if the Ducks decide to incubate you, you are going to get funding. But you're not just going to get a lump sum from one or two venture capitalists that could rug pull the project, that could dump all over the community. You see, the big VCs, they come in, they promise these projects all kinds of access to premier exchanges and stuff like that, but they rarely deliver. And as soon as the coin pumps, they, they're peace piecing out, going on to the next project, right? So the Ducks, through Project Incubation, have created a decentralized launching process where their community are the ones funding these projects pre-IDO. And the way you can participate in these incredible cryptocurrency pre-sales is by holding the DDIM token. They have different tiers that get you different access level to these pre-sales with the best tiers getting the most access and the smaller tiers getting the least. 
But all in all, they're a great project to follow. If you're looking for new projects that aren't rug pulls, you can simply follow the DuckDAO information sources like their Twitter page, their Telegram, and actually look at these awesome up and coming projects that they're choosing to incubate. But if you have the capital, you can buy the DDIM token and get into one of the DuckDAO investment tiers and really give yourself a great chance of success by getting into these projects at the ground floor. Guys, look here on the screen and prepare to be amazed because these are all the projects that they have incubated. And this is no small list. When you look at this list, you might think, oh wow, the ducks have been around a long time, but they, they haven't even been around a full year. It's incredible how young Duck Dow still is, despite all of their accomplishments. Almost every single one of these projects you're looking at has at one time or another 10x or more from their IDO phase. Now, of course, every single one of these projects is subject to map. <clears throat> to the macro conditions of the market. So they go up and down like everything else. But the people who have been in the DuckDAO community have profited like kings and queens, make no mistake about it. In fact, many of the long-term DDIM holders have recently begun to share on Twitter and other areas the amazing success stories they've had with DDIM. And I'm not overstating this when I say they have truly changed many people's lives giving them profits that they never thought possible. I talk to people like this all the time in their forums. They are still to this day changing lives. So there was actually an interesting article that I'll take you to right now by Finance Magnets, and they had three ways to start your business. And one of the three ways they mentioned was joining a community powered crypto incubator. Okay, so let's take a look at what they said about crypto incubators. Okay, from the article, as you are likely aware, fundraising is just one part of the challenge for new projects. They also need to grow their community and user base, hit their development milestones, secure synergistic partnerships and get the word out to just name a few hurdles. But what you might not know is that community-powered crypto incubators have exploded in popularity in recent months. As the name suggests, these leverage of the power of their communities to help projects not only raise funds, but also stand every chance of success post-sell, much like a traditional startup incubator. DuckDAO, our ducks, that's right, DuckDAO, is arguably the most prominent example of a community-powered crypto incubator. The platform has helped raise funds for dozens of prominent projects over the last year, including the likes of Shadows, Convergence, O3 Swap, Hodoo, and more. But more than this, it has also helped numerous projects bootstrap their community, grow their socials, and dramatically scale up their network, thanks to its massive community of influencers, developers, project founders, and crypto enthusiasts. All right, guys, so it's good to see that DuckDAO is getting some love from the finance magnets, and they're being named as the preeminent project incubator. And guys, this is really for good reason, because the success they've had is really unparalleled. And because they were the ones that innovated this space, they've been around the longest and they've cultivated some amazing relationships. And you are starting to have a lot more benefits from holding the DDIM token than just being able to participate in these pre-sales because a lot of the projects they have incubated are giving perks and benefits to DDIM holders that use their services. And as the tokenized economy continues to play out, and DuckDAO continues to launch more and more projects, I think you're going to see more and more cross-platform utility from the DDIM token that other coins just aren't capable of. So here's a cool story with the Ducks and a project that they have a strategic partnership with called ShipStars. The Duck World Series begins with huge prizes up for grabs. So what's going on here is that ShipStars is working with DuckDAO to host what they're calling the Duck World Poker Tournament Series. Multiple tournaments will be taking place over the next few weeks where participants can win a chance to receive lucrative prizes. We've raised the stakes, but also the rewards. We've posted that you're going to have a quacking good time, so fasten the seatbelts because you're in for a wild ride. You see, guys, the Ducks are always looking to have fun. So during this Duck World Series, there's going to be a nice schedule of events. Monday through Thursdays, there's going to be free roll with a $50 prize pool and two tournaments with prize pools of $100 and 1000 
Fridays and Saturdays is going to be free roll with a $100 prize pool and two tournaments with prize pools of $202,000. Sundays is a free roll with a $100 prize pool with prize pools of $502,000 with the final day being Sunday, June 6th with a main event prize pool of $25,000. Thousand. So this is a really cool collaboration they're doing with Chipstars, which is a project, again, that they have a strategic partnership. And Chipstars itself has the Chips token. Now, guys, since we're talking about the Ducks, we can throw in a little Duck Starter breaking news as well. So the Ducks have two components to what they offer their community. They have DDIM, which is the pre-sale side of things, DuckDAO, and they also have Duck Starter, which is a project launch pad. Two totally different things, both granting unprecedented early investment access, but they are different. So the Duck Starter has the Duck token and they just announced Invex Dex coming to their public sell. The whitelist opening was just this May 20th and it's going to close on the 25th. The public offering date will be May 27th. This is gonna be off the Binance Smart Chain with a total allocation of 97,500. Price per token at launch is going to be 6.6 .6 cents. Total invest tokens available will be 1,477,273. So very cool stuff, check that out if you're interested in the Duck Starter Launchpad. Now guys, there's a lot of things I don't like about Twitter, but one thing that I do use Twitter for is to follow cryptocurrency because it's still one of the best places to catch trends when they're still early because all of the crypto degens out there are on Twitter day and night and they are talking about these projects very early. So I like Twitter. And whenever I'm following a project like DuckDAO, I always follow their Twitter thread. I suggest each of you go and start following DuckDAO because they do launch all kinds of cool information as well as tweeting out entertaining things and retweets and stuff like that. So one thing that I think I'll mention since I'm making this video is they are actually pushing one of these meme coins that are uh, popping off left and right. They're talking about this new Chihuahua meme token. It's brand new, hasn't pumped yet. Again, guys, this is not necessarily endorsed by the channel, but the Ducks are talking about this Chihuahua coin, so check it out. Could be very interesting, especially the way that some of these tokens like Shibu Inu, uh, Kishu Inu, and some of these other dog meme tokens have kind of taken over the meme space from Doge, and these things are pumping left and right, and now, you know, I've seen the Ducks tweet a couple of times about this Chihuahua token. So not an endorsement, but check it out. It's very interesting, and I'm certainly going to be looking into it myself over the next coming days. All right, guys, I'm going to finish this video with the elephant in the room, which obviously is the price of the DDIM token. It is down from all-time highs around $100 a coin to just under $20 a coin at $18. So it is one-fifth of where it was at its all-time highs. And while that can certainly be distressing, I would like to remind everybody that just five months ago, it was only $3 a token. So most of the time in the investment world, if something goes from $3 a coin to $18 a coin in the span of five months, well, that's hell one hell of a half of a year return if you ask me. But this is crypto and we don't evaluate investment the way they do in traditional markets and for good reason we it's a it's much newer market it's different and things can pump in crypto like crazy but all i would like to tell you guys is that if something goes up that quick and then comes down that quick it can certainly go right back up and that's why it's all about the fundamentals the duck dow team is in it to win it they're continuing to innovate they're continuing to expand their partnership they're continuing to bring incredible opportunities to the DDIM holders through these game-changing pre-sales. And that's what I want to remind you guys. When you're holding coins out there, other than price go up, price go down, price go up, price go down, what are your tokens doing for you? I've been in the DuckDAO Beach Club now for about six months, and I can tell you that the DuckDAO Beach Club has changed my life for the better. I've gotten incredible profits. I've been able to sell and get up. <clears throat> I've been able to move those profits into other projects, and it has drastically helped my portfolio being in the Beach Club. And I never had to sell a DDIM to... <clears throat> 
to get those benefits. So for me personally, I wasn't even thinking about giving up my Beach Club membership. Even if the coin went up to $1,000 a coin, I was gonna hang on to the 200 I needed to stay in the Beach Club. So the fact that it's taken a little dip with a total market pullback doesn't bother me in the least because I see them continuing to focus on quality, not quantity, and they are expanding the blockchains they work with, truly becoming a cross-chain incubator in the futurist cross chain i mean one of the reasons why ddim has come down as hard as it was is because they were the first to this space and that means in the beginning there wasn't a lot of competition for launch pads but since then there's been a lot of copycats emerge and now on emerging chains like solana cardano polkadot they all have their chain specific launch pads that people are kind of migrating to but you know what those projects are all unproven and sure they're going to get a lot of buzz at the beginning when these blockchains are new to the market but i wouldn't be surprised at all if soon they're competing with duck dow for the good projects on those chains because through the duck bridge the ducks have positioned themselves to work with almost every chain out there and now they have a reputation in the industry that is golden so sure some of these new launch pads are gonna get a little attention at first, but a couple of years from now, I have no doubt that the Ducks are gonna be one of the few still around because they offer a lot of value to their community, they have integrity, and the projects they incubate are legit. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay calm in these turbulent times. Let the BHBs hang and let them swing. All right, guys, like the man Francis always says, until next time, you guys are on your own, man.